guys, today I'm going to be reviewing Private Firewall version 7.0. This is my first software review. Hopefully there'll be many more to come. Okay, let's just take a look. This is the official page for Private Firewall. The link will be on the description of this video. Let's just look at some of the product features. It's got zero hour antivirus protection and spyware protection and malware protection. So that's good. Um, it's got IB, IPv6 and IPv4 packet filtering. But mostly that aren't sure, IPs mean your, it's your IP address, so that's your kind of internet connection kind of thing. Um, it's got a top rated leak defense, and we'll be testing that out with Komodo leak test. It's got an anti loggers and you know, there's some of the massive features on it. Uh, it's also free. So, I mean, to download this, all you have to do is go into the link and click download private firewall now. And then it'll you know, bring you to the basic setup wizard. But enough of that, I've already downloaded private firewall, so let's just take a look at the interface. So, I don't really like this interface. I mean, it's basic, but at the same time, it's not really appealing to me. I think that's something that could possibly change the, the interface to look out. Anyway, let's just take a look. So, for applications, it's got, you know, the filter traffic. So, um, it's obviously filtering all my applications on my computer. Plus, it's monitor has more. And it's filtering everything. I've said it's a filter, which is the default settings. Now, denying traffic, that's not going to work, and allowing traffic, some of this could be virus traffic. It could have virus key logs inside of it. So it's good to filter your traffic. Um, for port tracking, um, it did say something about, you know, make, you can make your ports invisible. Haven't found out how to do this with private firewall. I know you can do it on Komodo, but these are all the, uh, what is it, applications that are right now on my ports. So, um, it's filtering every single one, which is good. So, let's have a look at some of the advanced settings. Okay, so, something that most, of, you know, private firewall users would have to watch out. For the, in default, it comes with standard control, alert and order respond. I'd click manual control. Um, manual control, it comes up with automatically all alerts. Now, this can be annoying at times, but I'd rather do it. I mean, I'd rather do this because... The auto respond features aren't that great. It alerts in auto response, and sometimes the auto responds will just let it, you know, let the thing through. And I did a uh, test on the internet with some malware files, you know, a bit earlier uh, before I did this video, and just to see how good the private firewall was. And it didn't come very good. In fact, it only blocked two malware links, and these malware links were really, really old malware links. At least, I mean, two, three weeks old. That's what I'm talking about. So I was pretty disappointed. Uh, if this happened. Um, other than that, I have to click manual control. It will automatically come up with a whole bunch of, you know, all the alerts and stuff so you can manually do it. Um, once that's done, you can, you know, it, it's your opportunity to fiddle with this and have a little play around and, you know, click what, what features you want. I've just gone to display alerts. Okay, so let's do a Komodo leak test to see how good Komodo, you know, to see how good private firewall really is. Let's get started. I'll pause the video and let the scan go. Hey guys, uh, the test has come back and it's a score of 200 and 340. Not bad. At the same time, I would, I guess, I expect a bit more from a firewall. Let's just percentage this total up. So. Okay, so that's a uh, score out of 70%. Not bad for a firewall, but I'd expect a score but at least 10% high, 80%. Okay, so it's not bad. Now let's just take a look at the CPU usage. Cool. So, um... Here we go. So, private firewall has two processors right now running. Uh, so, this is the main processor. And as you can see, it takes up not a massive amount of you know RAM and CPU space. It takes up a little bit, but not a little bit as well. It takes up a fair bit, but as you suspect, you know firewalls should take up at least a little bit of RAM. It shows that they're doing the job well, and it, I guess to be honest, it's not that much compared to some other you know RAM and CPU usages for some other firewalls like Zone Alarm. But thank you guys for watching this video. I, Private firewall definitely has a couple of you know. Things I need to improve on, like the user interface, and 
Anyway, a 70% score from a Komodo League test isn't bad, but I'd also expect, expect more from a firewall, especially, you know, when it has all these claims about I can do this zero day protection. Um, other than that, the private firewall seemed, seemed pretty good to me. I will be doing some more software reviews, and maybe some more firewall reviews as well, although I have to get my virtual machine up and running first to do some actual tests. I... I'm not really too sure about testing private firewall on the internet really. Um, hopefully they can, when, it, when the next update comes out, hopefully I will do it because the web blocking abilities hasn't really appealed to me and it isn't really working as well as it should be, for, especially for a firewall. But um, thank you guys for watching. Click like and subscribe if you did like the video and subscribe to my channel. Thank you guys for watching.